So I decided to play around a gun game in this video because I couldn't remember the last time I actually posted one of these and tell you guys all about the latest news from the last two weeks or so on Battlefield 4. So as I'm sure you know, about four or five days ago, a new trailer was released by the Battlefield channel which covered Battle Log 2. Points, or maybe it's, I don't even know what iteration of Battle Log we're actually at, but this actually looks like one that functions properly. Bad news is, it's not going to be released until Battlefield 4's release, so we have got a bit of a wait until we actually get these awesome new features, but I figured in this video I'd run through them and tell you what I think about them. So the biggest feature, which you've probably heard about already, is that they're going to let you put the minimap on your second monitor, because Battle Log is now going to include a map in it. So if you've got a second monitor, a laptop, a smartphone, an iPad, whatever, an Android thing, you can put a minimap on that. There's going to be no fiddling about with a silly little blue minimap in the corner and if you're wondering why DICE decided on that terrible design choice it actually turns out that the minimap and the hood and things which you see in Battlefield 3 wasn't made by DICE it was because of time constraints in making Battlefield 3 it was actually made by a different company who just sort of added it in afterwards so that's what we've been struggling with for the last two years but the awesome one and both Jack and I of course tried the minimap when it was in the alpha area and you'll get to try it in September when the beta is out we didn't actually get into the alpha we had to borrow another person's kit like friends keys to actually get into it just log in play a few games but it is actually useful now so you'll be able to have on your second monitor or your laptop or whatever a whole map of the battlefield you'll be able to see the battle line of where your team is the enemy team is you'll be able to see you know the, 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 where your helicopters your tanks are it's going to be especially useful in conquest I Thing for awareness and then you're also going to have the really nice clear little map in the bottom left hand corner that we, you know we experienced in the alpha I think it's going to be awesome I mean if you look at the map on these close quarter maps and I, I don't like criticizing games generally that much because you know most people so not everybody shares my opinion on them but if you, if you look at the map here whoever dice outsource this to I don't know what they were thinking right they put a different floor level on like different sheets of maps so if you go up to another level it only shows you what's on your floor level so instead of doing a simplified version of the whole map and then having like the character icons when they shoot different sizes depending on whether the enemy is above you or below you or your teammates are above or below you they've, they've just done it so you've got virtually no awareness and I swear that is that is the reason why P Close Quarters is probably my least favorite map pack but all of that is going to be gone in Battlefield 4. Some minor improvements though to battle log to bore you to tears with you're now going to be able to see the pictures of your friends and those who killed you. So in Battle Log, of course, you can put a picture and that picture is now going to show in game. And the friends list, which of course you can only access currently from Battle Log, is now going to be incorporated into game as well. So if you, I don't know, halfway through a game, wanted to go and play with your friend, you can now just press escape. And instead of having to close the game to go and play with your friend, you can now just click on your friends list in the option menu that will pop up. So Battle Log is a lot more fluidly incorporated than it was in Battlefield 3. They've also got a new join a spectator button so instead of joining on the team and then going in spectator mode which just kind of take up one of the slots that are, are on either team so you know you might have 10 guys spectating or something like that and then it's going to be like 22 versus 32 which is of course is going to be unbalanced you can now just go into a special spectator slot so that it's you, you know you don't you don't end up unbalancing the teams by doing that thankfully as well dice have also included a next map icon so you know when you're in game what the next map is going to be so there's there's no more of getting dragged from your beautiful rush game into a 64 man metro clusterfuck those days are over vehicle camos decals and weapons now it turns out and i haven't and i didn't see these screenshots until yesterday you can actually not only camo your vehicles and your weapons but you can actually put decals on the vehicles so you know if you wanted to put a massive ginger penis on your helicopter and then fly it into battle wait this isn't call of duty if you wanted to put like a scottish battle flag on your on your helicopter and then fly that into battle you can now do that in, in, in Battlefield 4 which I think is going to be really cool because I really like that level of personalization that you get in Planet Side 2 because you can put like little floating schools and stuff on stuff which I really like weapons and loadouts though you can now select whilst you're say at work what you want your loadout to be and it'll update it because you know of course the good thing about battle log is that it is browser based so it just automatically updates what you want everything to be and it isn't sort of as glitchy as it is at the moment you can actually change on the fly now your loadout in well i say on the fly when you die you'll change your loadout but you can change your loadout at any point in the game by selecting on your tablet or your laptop 
or or your phone or whatever if it's by your side you can select what you want in when you respawn and it'll do that for you so if you're running into battle and you know it's going to take you a minute or so because it's a, a huge map that you're playing on you can actually select what you want next time you die so it's kind of like a little time saver and it also means there's no more of those annoying waiting times where you got to watch the kill cam of the guy who killed you like you have to do in battlefield 3. Another cool feature of the new battle log is that you can now set up missions to compete with your friends. So if you wanted to see who of your friends was the best at Tron and damn noobs, then you can now do that by, by setting up a mission, setting up a time limit, and whoever takes the lead, it'll get it'll notify all the other people on their battle log. So if you've got an iPhone or an Android, then it'll put up a little notification on that so that you know that your lead has been lost to somebody else, which I think is a really cool little thing. They've also included geolocation tagging, as I think what they call it. So it'll basically show your stats above the city you live in. So if you wanted to compete against people in your city, say if you're the best there, in your state, in your country, in the world, then you can now do this by using this world map. It is completely opt-in, of course, to respect people's privacy, so if you don't want to be part of this, if you want to try it out and then not be part of it, it's totally up to you. You can opt in or out as you want to. Speaking of privacy, there's also going to be a new invisible option when Battlefield 4 comes out. So if you don't want people following you all the time, if you know if people do happen to follow you, then you can now press that. You know, if you just wanted a bit of privacy, then you've now got that option. A couple of last little bits of news to tell you about. There's been a new snow map confirmed in that battle log trailer because there was a sort of overview shown of it, and it looks it looks like a pretty big linear looking map you know a map that would be really good for rush like you know like dama van Pika, sort of pushing through different bases kind of reminded me a little bit of heavy metal with the way that the the conquest objectives were set out because of course the same maps will be used for conquest and rush just different bits split off but it looked like a really interesting map so i can't wait to play that Finally, a lot of people have been wondering about stats and progression. It seems at the moment that stats from, say, the PlayStation 3 are not going to transfer over to the PlayStation 4, so it'll be sort of a, a whole new oh, soldier okay. account that you'll need for that. But thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next chapter. You smell like bacon!